Hi, I'm Yana Kay, and I'm here to explain ballot measure GA. Now, you'll be voting on this measure when you go to the polls, so it's important to know what the measure is all about and how it will affect you. Now, let's go over the basics. Measure GA proposes to amend the city charter to change the way the Rent Control Board establishes the annual general adjustment to rent ceilings in rent control units in Santa Monica. Right now, the charter requires the board to adjust rents higher based on the increases in the landlord's utility tax and maintenance expenses, or downward based on the landlord's decrease in tax costs. But this process is complex and makes it difficult to predict results. The current formula is cumbersome, lacks predictability and transparency. In addition, the results may not accurately predict the changes in the landlord's actual costs, therefore making it hard to establish the general adjustment. Measure GA would establish a new adjustment formula, which would tie the general adjustment to the inflation rate by 75% of the annual percentage change in the Consumer Price Index for the Los Angeles area. However, this proposal would be subject to two limitations. The first, it would limit the annual adjustment to a range of zero to no more than 6%. Second, it would grant the Rent Control Board the authority to impose a dollar limit on any year's general adjustment to all controlled units. It would also require the adjustment be announced annually by June 30th to be effective September 1st. If the measure is adopted, officials say future general adjustments would become more predictable and computations more verifiable. The process would be more transparent and uncertainty would be reduced for both tenants and owners. Supporters say the new method simplifies the calculation, provides predictability, is cost-effective, and increases renters' protection. There are several arguments in favor of Measure GA. Those in favor say that Measure GA is good for tenants because it simplifies the calculation of the general adjustment. They say the current calculation is confusing. The new method, which would use the Consumer Price Index, will provide predictability for both tenants and landlords, and it will also be cost-effective. Supporters also say the measure will increase protections for renters by limiting the maximum possible adjustment for future rent increases. The proponents for Measure GA include Pam O'Connor, Santa Monica City Council member, Jennifer Kennedy, Santa Monica Planning Commissioner, Dennis Zane, former mayor and Santa Monica for Renters' Rights co-founder, Patricia Hoffman, Santa Monica for Renters' Rights co-chair, and William Winslow, Santa Monica Rent Control Board Chair. There are no arguments against the measure. Voting yes would mean you agree with changing the city charter to amend the way the general adjustment to rent control units is calculated. Voting no would mean you don't want to change the city charter to amend the way the general adjustment is calculated. For more information, visit www.smgov.net slash rent control.